Flamio Hotman, the official episode titles and running order for all eight episodes for Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender have officially been released, and credit to Night Edge Media for finding this first. You can see the full list of episodes here, let's walk through each one and talk about what they might include based on the title. So you saw episode one was called The Last Airbender. We already have a bit of insight into episode one, as it was leaked that the opening scene could feature Monk Yatso facing off against Fire Lord Sozin. You'll then likely jump to Katara and Sokka in the boat scene that we all know, and they'll eventually find Aang. Of course, Netflix shared some images at Tadum, and according to reports, all of these were from episode 1. I think Sokka, Zuko and Aang images are from around the same time in the episode, the part where Zuko is heading towards the Southern Water Tribe camp, because you see Zuko in his battle gear, you also see Sokka standing up in front of some barriers wearing his war costume, looking like he's getting ready for Zuko, moving towards them, and Aang's pose here definitely looks like a fighting pose, potentially where he's facing off against Zuko to protect the Southern Water Tribe camp. I'm not 100% sure about Katara's scene, it could be during the fight with Zuko, or maybe it's just her showing her waterbending skills to Aang in episode 1. Plus, I think we might also see the Southern Air Temple scene, you know the one where Aang loses his mind when he sees Gyatso, and Katara has to calm him down. Plus, we get introduced to Momo around this time as well, so I'm assuming this will all be in the first episode, and they'll just try to find a really good way to put it together. And the reason I think we'll see the Southern Air Temple episode is because in that episode, Aang literally says, I really am the last airbender, and I feel like that's got to be a sign with the episode title, like that's something this episode could end on. Now we also know Zhao and Zuko's Agni Kai was during episode 3, it feels like quite a lot to try and pack into one episode so I'm not sure if we'll see that in episode 1 of the live action series, or maybe they'll try to fit it in a little bit later. I feel like it will happen at some point though because it's a great way to introduce the Agni Kai. Episode 2 is titled Warriors. This of course has to be about the Kyoshi Warriors on Kyoshi Island. We'll get to see Suki and a new character who's playing her mother and also the mayor of Kyoshi Island. I feel like we will get to see Avatar Kyoshi as well. We know Yvonne Chapman has been cast as Kyoshi and she's revealed a few things in past interviews around Kyoshi being an important guide to Aang. Although I would say expect a fair amount of changes through this episode, I think the story is going to be a lot more detailed around the Kyoshi Warriors and Avatar Kyoshi herself. Episode 3 is called Amashu. Pretty obvious this one is going to take us to Amashu and we'll get to meet King Bumi. Now I believe during this episode we'll also see imprisoned earthbenders. I don't think it's going to be the full on episode like it was in the animation called Imprisoned, but I was looking at the cast and I see Paul Chang has been cast as an unnamed earthbender being held prisoner. Now there aren't loads of people cast as earthbenders that are prisoners, which is why I think maybe it's only going to be a few scenes long rather than a whole episode's worth. Now obviously when the gang get to a marshu, we can definitely expect to see the cabbage merchant pop up. We know the original actor James C has been cast as the cabbage merchant in the live action as well. I'm not sure this is going to have all the trials and tribulations that Boomy put Aang through in the original animation, but I do think they will keep the theme where Aang doesn't recognise Boomy initially, but then by the end of the episodes, he suddenly realises who he is. One thing I would say is that in the animation, we never really saw Amashu get taken by the Fire Nation. It was just something that had happened by the time Team Avatar went back there in Season 2, so I wonder if this being a longer episode might feature Amashu getting taken by the Fire Nation, and it's possible we could could see Azula, May, and Tai Lee turn up here as well, because we know they've all been cast. And we also know in season 2 of the original animation, Team Avatar had to face off against these three in Amashu, so it's possible Netflix might just be combining those episodes right here. But that's just a bit of a crazy guess. Moving on, episode 4 is called Into the Dark. Now this one's a little bit harder to guess the plot of just based on the title, because it doesn't necessarily relate to anything specific from the animation, at least not title wise. And as such, I think this could be where we see a little bit of a deviation from the running order of the original series, because I feel like Into the Dark could be the episode with Jet. And if you think about the underlying story behind Jet's past, it is pretty dark. Now I don't see anyone cast as a pirate, so I'm not really sure if we're going to be getting pirates in any of the episodes of this live action series. However, that episode in the animation was also where the waterbending scroll came about, so it could be they find a way to introduce the waterbending scroll into this episode as well. The next episode, episode 5, is called Spirited Away. Now I'm assuming this one is going to be all around the winter solstice, and in particular that whole Roku episode. We know Roku has been cast, as well as the 
great fire sage, which means we can assume Team Avatar are going to go to Roku's temple and Aang will enter the spirit world to speak to Roku. Interestingly, Katara actress Kiwan Tio said episode 5 was her favourite at Tadum. She also said we'll get to see the characters experience different perspectives, so I wonder if that does refer to Aang being inside the spirit world while Katara and Sokka are on the outside facing different challenges. The next episode, episode 6, is called Masks. I think we can be fairly confident in assuming this one is all about the blue spirit. It certainly seems like they've cut out the fortune teller episode and the deserter episode, but they might try to incorporate Bato from the water tribe here, along with the blue spirit in one big episode. Now Bartow himself hasn't actually been cast as a character, but Pat Alec has been cast as an injured water tribe warrior, which is basically what Bartow from the water tribe was all about. We also know Arden Cho is playing June, so I imagine they might try to mix in this element of June and this injured water tribe warrior along with this blue spirit episode, which would be slightly different from the original animation, but I think it could be quite fun and interesting to see how these characters come together. Episode 7 is called the North. Now this one feels like the episode where they'll go to the Northern Air Temple. We know the Mechanist and his son Teo have been cast, and obviously they were at the Northern Air Temple in the original animation, so I feel like this could be the most likely episode for that. I do imagine the latter part of this episode though, we'll see Team Avatar heading to the Northern Water Tribe. I also think the end of this episode will set up the Fire Nation boats led by Admiral Zhao appearing towards the Northern Water Tribe, and that will set up for the big grand finale in the next episode. And that episode is episode 8, and it's called Legends. I imagine it will see Aang and Katara learning water bending from Master Paku as we know he has been cast, and I expect we'll see Sokka bonding with Yue, again we know she's been cast as well. So it seems like this is going to then set up the big finale which sees everyone in Team Avatar and the Northern Water Tribe facing off against the Fire Nation and then attacking Admiral Zhao. I assume at some point we'll see Aang go back into the spirit world again, and this is where he might encounter Avatar Kurok. It's possible we might see Kyoshi and Roku again as well, all coming together to help Aang defeat the Fire Nation. Now I do believe there could be some changes to the story here, so don't expect a like for like of the Northern Water Tribe episodes. I think they will cut irrelevant parts out, and they'll try to expand on certain other areas. And also, if you think about that giant spirit ending in the animation, it might be a little bit harder to encapsulate that in a live action series, so it might very well be they try to do something different around that. Of course, I'm sure Zuko and Iroh won't be far away, and eventually Zhao will be defeated, and I think Zuko will end up back with Iroh on their boat. And that will then round out season 1 of Netflix live action Avatar The Last Airbender. Which episodes are you most excited for now we know a little bit more about their titles? Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.